Hi everyone, I am doing a box open at work. My coworkers <laughs> might try to appear or make funny sounds in the background, but that's okay. Um, so I have my headset on. I'm just going to move it out of the way. I hope you guys can hear me. Um, I'm gonna sit back a little bit. I'm sitting at a desk, kind of on a corner. Um, I have a smart doll here with me, um, but I don't really think there's that much in here that is going to be smart doll related. This is a buy.jp haul. You know, I buy random stuff there, like books or anime and manga stuff or doll stuff. And so we'll just go see what's in here. I already kind of opened up the box, but I haven't taken anything out yet. So that is what I will do. Good packing, as always. going to kind of take everything out of the box and then open up the packets that are inside the box because by I think they, they get stuff shipped to them and then they repackage it and they label them so that they know which uh, things belong to which um, lots. I really love using by because they will store stuff for you until you're ready to ship everything. So let me set these things out of here. A lot of little green envelopes. And then in here you can see one last package that's kind of surrounded by air bubbles. Oh wait, there's a couple more things under here. Okay. That last stuff was definitely awesome. This is Book Off. If you haven't heard of Book Off, they are definitely um a company that resells stuff and this happens to be a complete manga series manga if you prefer um that is in japanese i just bought it because it was really cheap and it looked like a good series i do not know how to read japanese but i bought it anyway so i'm just gonna open it up really quick here i can series of about like eight books or so. Maybe more. Okay, eleven. Um it is this is if you have ever printed it. Apparently it has been printed in English, so maybe I can help with help myself with some translation, but it just looks really cute. And if I can't even read it, at least I'll be able to enjoy the art in here. So that's kind of cute. I'm just gonna move that aside somewhere out of the way. There we go. Um alright, I'll just show you these things because they're not in envelopes. What do I have here? Okay, so there was a lot of things for Dolphy Dream, and I don't even remember what this is, but it looks to be something to do with the eyes. Maybe it's like the, maybe it's like something you can set in their eyes to move their eye. It's actually pretty cool. I wonder if that would work with Smart Doll. Maybe. I mean, they have the same or similar size heads, right? something to be I don't know. I'm gonna have to try that. I do have a couple Dolphy Dreams. I'm getting back into them. Um, this is definitely very wintry and it looks like it can be used for mini Dolphy Dream size. So like one fourth size. Cute little coat. Very adorable. I think it could still work on a one third. It just wouldn't be like a long coat like it, like it shows in the image there. Um, this is a little contrast. I think this is mostly um, one third size stuff. Let me see. I can open this up here. Okay. I can't even get the work scissors here with me. <clears throat> Alright, so. 
little, oh my gosh, there's so many cute things in here. All right, so firstly, there's a little note in Japanese. I cannot read it, as I've already established with those inka. Um, but it's a cute full dress and a cute little hair bow. It's pretty, pretty horrible. Um, here is another one that says MSB. as far as staining but you could always get like protective clothing underneath very cute very nice that um mini Dolphy dream head that i got in my last Barbie haul with the red eyes and red hair but that would look really good on her <clears throat> this is freaking adorable it's like a whole outfit set look at that so, like a skirt, a top, leggings, a hat, and a hair clip. And then there's an image of what it looks like on a mini Delphi Dream. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. So all of this was like one lot. And then here's another outfit. This must be from the same seller. It says amblo.jp. There's that email address there. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. So another full outfit set, like with a skirt, um, looks like a vest, and then maybe a long sleeve shirt, and a hat, and then they added on more hair clips. So there's an image of what it looks like. That was one whole set, I think. Um, I don't remember how much it was for the whole set, but it, oh, and I think the, uh, the coat and the eyes were included in that. Pretty good. It's like a whole mini Dolphy Dream like wardrobe right there. I'm gonna set this down in this box though. Right out of the way. <clears throat> okay, so all these envelopes. I don't know how much more of this is specifically doll related. That um, clothing lot was definitely the major doll thing that I think they got here. Because, <clears throat> as you all know, when I shop on Buy, I tend to just look around and then. Um, find something that interests me and then I, I feel obligated to buy more things so I can like pack it all in <laughs> one shipping. Um, I'm coughing a little bit because I'm still slightly sick and this video seems to be like focusing weird so I'm going to try to lock it in. Here we go. Alright, so let's see what's in here. I hear a jingle bell so I feel like there's something in here that would be for a doll. Um, oh my gosh, this is so cute. This is another mini Delphi Dream size outfit. I'm gonna take it out of the outfit though, or out of the envelopes to show you guys what it looks like though. Cause it's super adorable. So it's just like a dress and it comes with a, oh, this looks like a neck ribbon with a bow and a bell. But look at this, look at this. It has like gears, a gear motif there. And then like these big paws so stinking cute. I bet this would be okay as a top on a one-third or as a dress on a one-fourth. Because size-wise it looks like it, it could fit. Probably. I don't know. Let's see how it opens. How does it open? Oh, it's just a Velcro open. A big open so you can like fit the head through. That's really cool. It's a clever design and it's so cute. I just love those big paws. That's really adorable. Alright, so on the side. You guys see I'm opening an envelope just below screen. <laughs> I just I'm using my scissors to untape the envelope here. Oops. I'm about to clean up all this stuff. Okay, so ears and a tail dolls. This is a little bit bittersweet for me. I think there's definitely an artist that sells these things. They have like their information card there. Um, I 
Actually, let me open it up so you guys can see the name of the artist. If you want to go look, because I've seen that they, they have been listing other things. Uh, decorationbox.com. If you guys can see that. Um, so, magnetically attached. There must be magnets in the tail tip there. And then this, these ears are on headbands. But the ears are posable, I do believe. Let's see. Yeah, they have like little wires in them so you can stick them. And they're like up, one down. You know, bend them at different, um, you know, different heights. So the reason I say that these are slightly better sweet for me is that <clears throat> I, um, if you guys remember, I bought a Kumiko Puyo doll a while back, and I kind of wanted it to be, like, representative of my dog who passed just about a year ago, um, and I commissioned an Etsy artist to make ears and a tail for him almost a year ago as well. Obviously, it's been a long time, and they, they kept in contact with me, but they haven't shipped, and it's getting kind of depressing so I just went ahead and ordered some new ears and tail and since we have this lovely little smart doll we're just gonna try them on her just to see what it looks like take her little Santa hat off move her into the light a little bit more <clears throat> these are not exactly like the ears that my dog had <laughs> but that's freaking adorable like lock one down. That's so cute. I really think that's adorable. Um, I just sorry, somebody's like texting on something. I don't know, some Facebook chat group. And anyway, it distracted me because I'm, I'm recording on my phone. But this would be like the tail like coming off the back. It's really adorable and it's close enough to represent my dog so I might put this on my Puyo. I don't know. If I ever get those ears from that Etsy artist, I will be surprised. So, the, the artist does sell on um, Yahoo Japan, but here's their website if you want it directly. Decorationbox.com. Alright, let me put these aside. That's really cute. Those would actually look really cute with that um, mini Delphi green dress with the paws on the arms or the sleeves. Oh my gosh, this is cooler than I thought it was going to be. Can you guys ready to look at this thing? This is like um, those balloons that you see in like anime and manga where the kids go to festivals and they get the little water balloons that are kind of like, I don't know, yo-yos or just things that they carry. This I thought was just like a, kind of like a figure, but it actually has like moving water in it, which is really cool. I'm going to try to open it up here somehow and show you guys. Double bagged. Hope it doesn't leak. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's even like squishy. So I wonder. I feel like this the listing said it was um volts, maybe. There's like glitter in there. I don't know if it's like focusing very well, but um, it does. It, it moves. There's like glitter and water. And I don't know if it was supposed to be like a charm that you could get. I don't know if that had anything to do with dolls, but it's really cute. We'll see how it looks. That's pretty adorable. Really, it would be really cute for a doll who is wearing like a kimono 
like they're going to a festival. That is super cute. I'm just gonna let her keep holding that for a minute. I'm gonna have to look up what that's referred to as, like what the name of it is. This, oh, this could be handmade, I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. It's a cute bag though, it's like a floral print on it. This was the last thing that I won on auction and I had to wait for it to be ready. Now, the only thing that I would say, I don't think this is exactly what I ordered. The thing that I saw on the auction, I'm pretty sure it was a pink and purple apron. And this is just all pink and white. I seen the purple. I know the light is kind of beating out the colors there. But it's definitely pink. And I thought there was supposed to be some purple trim of some sort. I don't see that here. It's cute, but it is not what I ordered. I feel like maybe um, this was just handmade after I placed the order, but if they did, that was really quick. Um, it has like a tie in the back, and then the um, there's buttons on the end of the like ties and they go through a little thing there so it's like a functioning apron but it definitely does not look like the one that I ordered because I'm pretty sure it had pink and purple so hmm what can you do I'll have to look at that one I don't remember what this is, but it does say MSDSD right there. You can see that right there. Maybe a wig? Oh, it's a wig. It's a wig. So we'll try it on her. It's like um, a gray curly wig, I think. Definitely a lot of curls. Oh, you know what? Oh my gosh, you guys, it's kind of purplish. <gasps> it's so exciting. I love purple. Purple is my favorite color. Alright, let's just see what it looks like. So, now you can see all those curls. And it looks like it has like the clip in ponytails. I did not think it was that. I thought it was more like just a full curly wig. So, let's see how it fits on her because it could be. Had big. Look at those curls though. Oh my gosh. In my lighting at work here, this kind of looks purplish silvery. On the auction, it looked very gray, which I don't have a problem with the color difference. Um, I'm actually liking the purplish gray, but this does look a little big for Sparkle. So let's see what it looks like on her. Just pop her wig off here. Should I put it on crooked? It's completely covering her face. Look at those curls. Should I put her Santa hat back on? I'll lean up against it over that. Should I have to wear it to one side? Like that. Those curls are pretty fantastic. It's definitely a wig you have to really take care of. That, you guys. Oh my gosh, look at that. Okay. Let me set that aside. I'm going to go here. Probably less and less doll related things here. Oh, it's eyes. That's what it is. 
I don't think I will take the time to change out her eyes. She has brown ones in right now. They're not like anime style or anything, but these could fit her. And they are blue with like glitter. Y'all know I love the glitter. Let me just show you these eyes, see if they can, the bag won't reflect too much. I'll show you guys what they look like. Let's see if it'll focus again. No, it won't because I have it focusing on me. But look at that. You see the glitter in there? And the blue. Oh my gosh, those are so pretty. Those are gorgeous. They probably will work for her in a summer reel. I think they're <clears throat> 14, maybe 16. Ooh, those are pretty. All right, let's put that one aside. It's a really tiny package. All right, this is feeling like this is the first thing that I ordered. Oh, yes, it definitely is. I can see through the envelope. This is what got me on this mini spree. kind of excited about this. So y'all know I love chocolates, right? So, can you see that? No, the glare is too much. Oh, there you go. It is like, it's probably copies of, um, like, reference drawings for the anime. It's still pretty cool. I'm pretty excited to see what, what all is in here because they didn't actually show every um, image. So that's Chi. Do you know my lip plum? These line drawings could be good references if I want to get a tattoo of Chi, which maybe I will someday. Look at her. Down there she looks all sad. She has her little earplugs out. Oh, either one of these would make a fabulous tattoo. Look at that one over there with her hair flying back. Gorgeous. So these are definitely copies. I like there you can see them writing on there. Um and they're not the greatest copies either. But it's cool to think that these came from the anime. Maybe like the studio that was working on it. There's Hideki. Like the sweetest guy ever in any, in any anime. Maybe not the sweetest guy ever, but definitely one of the sweeter clamp characters. It's interesting, I wonder what that logo is supposed to be from. Like what, what was his school that he went to? Some facial expressions. So there's quite a lot of pages in here actually. And then Shindo and Sumo. And some of his facial expressions. He's a really cute character too. And then here's some of Plum. Or Sumo. Oh, she's so cute. And then here's one of her just by herself. And it says what height she's supposed to be. 16 centimeters. <laughs> and then another of uh, Miss Hidia. An outfit she typically wears. So, oh, that's quite a lot of pages. That's really cool. Pretty happy with that. And then one last thing, <coughs> which I think is doll related, but not for Smuggle. So, if you've watched my channel at all, you've seen that I've gotten <laughs> um, some tulip dolls here or there. 
and this is a this is this is actually a blight outfit but I'm hoping that it could work for a pillow so you can see without the glare there it's kind of like a swan princess like Valina tutu outfit and then like the crown with the wings um, this definitely would not work for smart doll at all but I'm hoping I can try it on one of my um, <coughs> pulip dolls and see what it looks like I am assuming that this is an actual <coughs> light outfit not like handmade but it could be handmade I don't really know let me just pop it open here real quick It comes with a crown and a, it looks like a set of stockings maybe and this outfit. Oh my gosh, it is so tiny. I wonder if it could work for like some one six size dolls. That's what their bodies are, right? So there it is. You can see it kind of has like Oh, you can't really see because my light washing it out, but it has like little rhinestones sewn, sewn into the tutu there. That's really cool. I wonder if it would work for some of my smaller dolls. I'll take out the crown too, you can see that too, it looks really pretty. The crown would not work for any of my smaller dolls because it's meant for such a big head lip or blight head. So that's the crown with the wings. A little, little gem there. Let's see, maybe it is big for her. Well, you know what? Let's just try it. <laughs> it's too big. Okay, so that is everything. That's a lot. Some of those uh, single auctions where multiple things included. Um, hopefully I'll get some pictures of some of those things tried on the dolls that they're meant for size-wise. Um, but I think this wig is pretty fantastic. So thank you guys for watching and hope you don't mind my uh, work atmosphere. Have a good night everyone. Bye.